We're actually at the Hanoi train station right now. We're about to take a 13 hour train trip to, which one was that? Hue. Hue. Way. 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 I guess we'll <laughs> get off. from our friends. <laughs> I guess we'll have to get off the train when they tell us to. If not, we'll be out in the middle of nowhere lost. That's a little song we'll be singing later. Alright guys, so we are at our train cabin. We are in 17, 18, 19, and 20. Um, we actually got lucky. So we are on a tour with On The Go Tours and they booked this whole um, train number eight for us and they overbooked. So we actually don't have to share the room with anybody else. It's just going to be me and Jed in here. But as you can see, there are actually four bunks and normally you'd have four people in here. But it's actually a lot nicer than we thought it was going to be. Um, and it looks pretty clean. So fortunately it's just the two of us in here so we don't really have to get up onto the top bunks. But in order to get up there you have to use this little step stool. I'm pretty short so it's a, kind of difficult. And then there's some little handrails here but let's see if we can do this. Don't laugh people. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't want to have to do this like a million times throughout the night. So the luggage storage up here is actually pretty big. It looks like it could fit maybe at least three suitcases, maybe four up there. The mattresses seem pretty comfortable. They are pretty soft. Um, from what we've read, uh, there are three different classes of trains or um, cars in the train. One is like a regular just kind of sit up uh, train seat. And then they have uh, the beds. One of them is supposed to be a hard bed. I'm not really sure what that is. But um, we are in the first class cabin and we have these soft beds. It's kind of like a, a plastic covered mattress and it's pretty decent. I would have definitely brought like some earplugs or I would have loved to have had my noise canceling headphones last night. Are you happy to be off the train? Yeah. Made it away. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I think it's a really cool way to see uh, the countryside and you know, why not sit on a train and watch everything go by? It gets a little cramped after 13 hours though. <laughs> it does, but at least it was overnight so we kind of got to sleep. All right, so we just got done with lunch. Um, lunch was pretty interesting. Um, the spring rolls I like the best. They had a fig salad. It looks like tuna. It doesn't taste like tuna. I, I think it's one of those things where you think you're eating or you're eating something that looks like one thing, so you're expecting that flavor and getting an entire different flavor. And for dessert, we had these little candied green bean things. Uh, not my favorite, but they were interesting. just reached the Purple Forbidden City. So this part of the city was actually reserved for people of the royal class and the royal class only. visiting the um, Tian Mu Pagoda. It literally translates to celestial or a heavenly lady. So this place is absolutely amazing. Um, 
the monks here actually take in abandoned kids or orphans. Um, if a woman does not want a child, they leave it at the steps of the monastery. They take the child in for 18 years, and then the child gets to decide whether he wants to go back to the community or become a monk himself. The pagoda itself is absolutely beautiful as well. It was built back in 1601. It has seven different stories to it, and uh, by many it's considered an unofficial um, symbol here of the city of Hue. So this morning we are at the beautiful Kai Ding tomb. This is the tomb of the 12th king of Vietnam. Now typically these tombs were not only a place of burial for the kings in Vietnam, they were actually a retreat away from everyday life for friends and family. So it kind of served a dual purpose. However, the 12th king of Vietnam actually passed away before the tomb was even finished. So his son actually took charge and finished this tomb. Coming up, the adventure continues. We're headed to the, one of the most beautiful cities in Vietnam, Hoi An. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit that notifications bell, and until next time, stay wonderful.